everybody. Before we start service, I have a huge announcement. He <laughs> said, well, what's that? I found out that I was an actor. <laughs> um, that is funny. And the person that told me has so much seniority over me <laughs> that I can't say anything. <laughs> Because I was always taught to respect my elders. Yes, sir. <laughs> so she says that I'm an actor. I'm an actor. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be the best actor that I can be. <laughs> and maybe I could be a preacher on the side. <laughs> We're having a good time. Oh, Amen. 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 We're happy to have you here tonight. But they're not going to play at 8 o'clock, 8, 8.20. Amen. And, uh, but God's got has business to take care of. That's right. Like Amen. a church service. Amen. There are people that need to hear from God tonight. Yes. Amen. I need a touch from God tonight. Hallelujah. In this service. Yes. Amen. Um, I, I just, I'm so thankful we had a wonderful service this morning. Amen. The presence Amen. of God was here to be yes. there today. Amen. So with that, let's all stand. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. God, we just thank you and we worship Lord, you. We thank, we you, thank you for we the evangelistic uh, Sunday evening. Lord, we pray Lord, that every knee will Lord, be met, that every heart will be touched, and God, that you will accomplish your will in all of our lives. This night, in this service, God, that you will move Show forth your power, your glory, and your majesty. Amen. Turn with me to page 44 in your hymnals, and we're just we're going to attempt to sing Blessed Assurance. Amen. We're, we're excited. At least the Bible says make a joyful noise. We're going to do that. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. This is my 
It just gives you that assurance yeah. that everything is going to be all right. Yes, I love it. I'm glad for the day that I receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And not only did God baptize me with the Holy Ghost, I spake with other tongues yeah. as the Spirit of God gave me. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I still believe yeah. in the Holy Ghost. Yes.
of the Gospel of John chapter 14. And I want to read some scriptures and I do hope and pray that God will bless you this evening and that you will be uh, enlightened and that God will advance you spiritually as a result of you being here tonight. Amen. We do hope that you benefit from the gospel. Yeah. We do hope that you benefit from the ministry, that you benefit from hearing the unadulterated gospel yes. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Because through Jesus Christ, we, we will do value. Uh, yeah. Through Jesus Christ, we can yeah. advance. Amen. Through Jesus Christ, we can make it. Yeah. Through Jesus Christ, we can be encouraged. Yeah. And we can come to a place in our life to where we are determined, we are dedicated, and committed to what God wants us to do. John chapter 14, and uh, we appreciate the word of God, and we appreciate that the word of God uh, has power. Yes. Uh, but in, in the Psalms, the Bible said, thy word is a light unto my path and a lamp unto my feet, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That means with the lamp, you can see where you're stepping, and with the light, you can see where you're going. Amen. Yes. Light and the lamp. Yes. Amen. That's what the word of God will do for you. Help, you. help you to step, to guide you around landmines and destructiveness. And then not only that, it'll make sure your path is clear. So you'll know where you're going, what, what direction God wants you to go in, and all of these things. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are oh, many mansions. As you can tell, I don't have much voice left. So that actor that you were talking about, his voice is a whole lot better than mine. That's why they use him for that commercial. You're in good hands with all things. All right. If I, I don't have to get that. In my father's house are oh, many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Verse 3. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be, or ye may be also. So God wants us to be where he is. Let me read that. that why, do we, why, why did he go back to prepare a place? Because where I am, there you may be also. Oh man, I want to be where Jesus is. Yes. Are you with me, Lord? The ultimate goal is to be where Jesus is. Yes, God. This world is not my home. Lord, Lord I think about the way they're treating us. I think the way, I think about how the politicians are doing so wrong and about all the things that we've had to deal with during this pandemic and all of the policies and all of the different things I just want to be where Jesus is Hallelujah. because I know I'm where Jesus is yes. Jesus is not going to mistreat me yes, sir. I know if I go where Jesus is he's going to tell me the truth Amen. I know if I'm where Jesus is he's going to do what's best for me yes. he's going to care for me care for us. He's going to provide for us. He's going to work it all out. We're going to be in the safest place in the world. The safest place in the world is where Jesus is. Hallelujah. Oh no, I want to be where he is. Yes. Amen. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to be where Jesus is. Thank you, God. Verse 4. I just have a few more. And whether I go, you know, and the way you know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest. And how can we know the way? Now, Thomas, Thomas is the same one that said, I will not believe lest I touch the holes in his hand. I, 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 
Here we are again. Lord, how, what do you mean we know the way? So you're telling me, Thomas, that Jesus just sat there and said the way he know. So you're telling Jesus that what he's telling you is not true. Is that what you're telling me? That what Jesus just said, you know you know the way. Amen. You know you know the way. And uh, Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest. Now how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way. <laughs> so how you going to tell me you don't know the way? You've been walking with me for three years. You've been watching me for three years. You've been you you've seen me work miracles. You've observed my prayer life. You've seen me help people. You've seen God the Father use me mightily by the Holy Ghost. What do you mean you don't know the way? Yeah. There are people that come to church. There are people that watch this broadcast. They know what to do. They know God is dealing with their heart. They've been under conviction. They know that they need to pray. They know that they need to get right with God. They know that they need to come to church. They know that they need to pray and do what God wants them to do. Don't act like you don't know. Why? Because Jesus said, I am the way. You know who Jesus is. You know how to find your way home. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you know Jesus, you have everything you need. Huh? If you have met Jesus and Jesus is your Lord and you pray for salvation, you have everything you need. All you got to do is walk with him. All you got to do is talk with him. All you got to do is read the word of God because he is the word, right? Yeah. The Bible says, he said, I am the word. Uh, what, what did the Bible say in John chapter 1? In the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was with God. The same was in the beginning with God. So even when you read the word of God, that's Jesus. Are you with me tonight? Amen. If you got Jesus, you have everything. You need. Amen. Yes, sir. Don't tell me about not having this. Don't tell me about not knowing. Don't tell me that you don't understand. Don't tell me that you can't do this and you can't do this because my Bible said I can do all things uh, through Christ uh, that what strengthened strengthened me. Yes. So don't tell me about not understanding about what you can't do about. Not having this and not having that. Because Jesus told Thomas, I am the way. And if you got Jesus, you know the way, you have the way, and whatever you need, you have it. Because Jesus is everything. Amen. I said, Jesus is everything. Yes, sir. Yes. Let us pray. Maybe we pray for this. Thank Father, you. we thank you for the service tonight. Lord, we just ask and pray, Father, that you would meet us again like you did this morning, Lord. Once again, Father, Hallelujah. we pray that you move, touch my husband as he preaches the message that you've given him, Lord, and help us to apply Hallelujah. it to our hearts. And we thank you and praise you in the name of Jesus. Lord, Amen. Amen. God bless you tonight. Thank you for praying. It's so good to be in the house of the Lord. Yes, sir. It's so good to know Jesus as our personal Savior. I'm so glad that he's my Lord and he's my Savior. I'm so glad tonight that one day heaven is going to be my home. And that really, according to the book of Ephesians, we, already, we have already been made to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So really, I'm already there. My body just got to get there. Amen. According to the word of God. According to the word of God. Amen. But anyway, I want you to know four important things about Jesus. Four important things about Jesus tonight. Amen. And so we see, let me set the scene for you. 
We see Jesus assuring the disciples. You know, once he told them that he was getting ready to go away, they became a little worried. They became a little concerned. They began to have reservations. And, uh, and Jesus wanted to assure them that they were going to be all right. He wanted to assure them that he wasn't just going to bail out on them, that he wasn't just going to leave them alone, but he was going away. And, and he had reasons to go away. He had a purpose in going away. He had a reason, a purpose for why he had to go and do. It was for their benefit. It was for our benefit. It was for what we need. And then he had to go away so he could provide a way for you and I to come to God. Amen. So he could provide a way for us to be saved. So he could provide a way for us to get out of sin. And believe me, if we're in sin, we need to get out of sin. Amen. But the only way to get out of sin is through Jesus Amen. and through his death, burial, and resurrection. Amen. We need to get out of sin. But anyway, he was preparing them for separation from him so that he could do what God wanted him to do. Yeah. So we see that he was going to prepare a place for prepared people. He was going to prepare a place for people who would be prepared. Are you with me tonight? Yeah. Then on top of that, as if the previous verses was not enough <coughs> assurance. As if all of the verses from verse 1 all the way up through verse 5 uh, he, he, he let, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. I'm going to prepare some mansions. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And uh, I just want you to know that I want you to be where I am. That's enough alone right there. Those things was plenty. But he even took it further than that. Amen. And so there's four things I want to show you that you need to, are uh, important, that you need to know and that you need to understand so that when you're going through something or when the devil is trying to get you to throw in the towel or when, when the storms of life are raging and you feel like uh, giving up and you feel like uh, you don't know if you can make it. And then you feel like your top things are topsy-turvy in your life. I want you to remember this scripture. I want you to remember not to give up hope. I want you to remember that God is still alive. I want you to remember that Jesus cares. I want you to remember that he's looking out for your best interest. And I want you to remember this scripture. I am the way. You yes. said, Pastor, I don't know what I'm going to do. Jesus said, I am the way. Uh, I'm short on money. Jesus said, I am the way. My marriage is on the rocks. But Jesus is saying, I am the way. Yes. Pastor, my job situation is precarious at best. Uh, I am the way. My future is in jeopardy. I've done something really bad, and I don't know what's going to happen. Jesus said, I am the way. Amen. Amen. Him, he's the answer for whatever is wrong in your life. Amen. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father. No man. I don't care who it is. No one can go to the Father unless they do it through Jesus Christ. Amen. Why? Because he is the way. He's the way. So number one, the first thing you need to know, important thing that you need to know about Jesus is that he's the way. Amen. He's the way. Amen. What does the word way mean? Miss Angie. What does the word way mean? <laughs> the word way means progress. Or it means a road, right? That means that as long as you have a road, you can get somewhere. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? As long as you have access, 
you can get somewhere. As long as you're making progress, you'll eventually get to where you got to go, right? Amen. And so Jesus is saying, as long as you have me, there's a road. Yeah. As long as you have me, you can make progress. As long as you have me, there's an opportunity. As long as, long as you keep Jesus in your life, always remember, with Jesus, I always have a way. With Jesus, I always have progress. With Jesus, nothing can stop me. With Jesus, I can always go forward. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. But you got to keep Jesus in your life. Don't lose him along the way. Don't let the devil discourage Jesus out of your life. Don't let the devil confuse Jesus out of your life. There's no confusion. Jesus said he was not the author of confusion. Yes, if you're confused, that comes from the devil. Mm -hmm. Because confusion, Jesus said, I am not the author of confusion. Yes, so sir. with God, it'll always, you might not understand, but you won't be confused. Right. Are you with me? Amen. As long as you have Jesus, you might not understand. But you won't be confused yeah. because we don't have to confuse with Jesus. There is no confusion because He's still powerful. Yeah. He's still the Son of Almighty God. He still has all power of the world in His hands, and He said, "No man can pluck you out of My hand." Amen. As long as you have Jesus, there's no confusion. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. And as long as you have him, you have a way. As long as you have Jesus, he said, I am the way. That word way in the Greek means a road or it means progress. Are you with me? Yes. Oh, thank God. Hallelujah. Thank God tonight. I might be able to stay still in my life. I might be going through something where I don't know what's going to happen. But because I've got Jesus, yes. progress is because I have Jesus, uh, there's always an avenue. Uh, there's always a way. Uh, yes. yeah, he said, the Bible said, uh, there shall be a way in the book of Isaiah. Uh, and it shall be called uh, the highway uh, of holiness. Uh, Amen. And, uh, and what that means is that as long as I keep living right, uh, when you live right, you keep Jesus in your life. Amen. When you quit living right, you lose him. Are you with me? Follow yes, peace with all men in holiness, without which no man shall see God. Yes, sir. Number two, truth. Remember this about Jesus. Four important things. The first thing you need to remember, I am the way. I'm progressing, and I'm a road. And remember this, in, as long as you stay in Jesus, no matter how it looks, there's always a way. Yes, sir. There's always, a, there's always progress to be made. Are you with me tonight? Amen. Oh, honey, that's a good word. That's a good word tonight. That's, that's encouraging. Yes. I'm strengthened by that. Amen. Uh, because so many times we face things and we don't know what we're going to do. We don't know how it's going to work out. But because I have Jesus, I know I can do it. Yes. Amen. 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 He said the truth. Number two, he's the truth. Uh, I said he's the truth tonight. Yes. Amen. What does that word truth mean? It simply means what's right. Amen. Jesus is what's right. Amen. Amen. I don't care what else is going on. If you have Jesus, you have what's right. Yes, and because you have Jesus, he'll teach you the truth. He'll show you the truth. He'll direct you to the truth. I don't care how much pressure you're up under. I don't care how much is going on around you trying to force you to lie, trying to force you to cheat, trying to force you to manipulate something. As long as you have Jesus, uh, you can do what's right. Uh, as long as you have Jesus, uh, you can be honest. Uh, as long as you have Jesus, uh, you can be truthful. Uh, because Jesus uh, is the truth tonight. Uh, they call a basketball player Paul Pierce uh, the truth. Uh, and people talk about uh, this one and that one. But really, Jesus uh, is the truth. Amen. Amen. He's what's right. 
I'm here tonight because of Jesus. I repented of my sins because of Jesus. He washed me in his precious blood. He cleansed me. He made me a new creation. He cleaned up my mind. He cleaned up my activities. He cleaned up my doors and comments because he is the truth. Amen. The Bible says by the truth. I want you to listen to me. Yes, sir. The Bible says by the truth. By the truth and sell it not. Yes, sir. What does that even mean? What does that mean? Once you find the truth, once you know what the truth is, once you understand what's right, what's correct, then whatever price you have to pay, pay it. Are you with me? Whatever sacrifice you have to make, do it. Whatever price you have to pay, pay it. Sometimes the truth will cost you friendships. Yeah. Sometimes the truth uh, yeah. will cost you uh, this thing and that thing. Uh, but do whatever you have to do uh, to have the truth uh, in your life. Uh, and sometimes it's a high price. Uh, but whatever has to happen, uh, when you get paid, uh, when you get paid, uh, the truth says, uh, Animals are different than we are. 
When they die, that's it. When they die, it's over. There's no more life for them after that. But for us, when we die, there's life after death. Yes. Yes. Amen. So you want to make sure that you give God your life. Amen. Now, I give God my life. What that means is that you're not serving God for a few months, for a few years, and then something. I've seen people call themselves giving God their life, but then a particular thing got them to quit. A particular circumstance got them to quit. They walked away from the ministry or walked away from church or walked away from the people of God because uh, they didn't understand something. But this is a lifetime thing. Uh, this is a forever thing. Uh, he said, I am the way, the truth, and what? The life. You're supposed to be with God forever. Amen. Yes, sir. He said, we are not of those that draw back unto perdition, but we are those that believe to the saving of the soul. Oh, I'm in this for the long haul. Amen. I'm in this till they go dirt on my face. I'm in this, I don't care. Let me die. I'm a soldier. In the army of the Lord, I'm a soldier. In the army. Give God your life tonight. Don't ever forget that. Amen. Give God your life tonight. And what's the last part? We know that He's the way, the truth, and the life. And the Bible says, No man cometh unto the Father but, but by me. He's the only way. He's the only way. Yes, sir. No man cometh unto the Father. He is our only access. If you don't get Jesus, you don't get anything. I said, if you don't get Jesus, you don't get anything. Man, I'm not here to bash Buddha. I'm not here to bash the Muslims. I'm not here to bash the Catholics. Uh, you know, you can pray to all the saints you want to pray to. Uh, you can you can get up here and sit down like they do in the Buddhist religion, uh, and you can do all these other things. But let me tell you something tonight: uh, if you don't get Jesus, uh, you don't get anything. Uh, he said, "No man come to the Father but by me." Uh, it's all uh, in Jesus. Uh, I said, "It's all uh, in Jesus tonight." Stand with me. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah! I said, "It's all in Jesus." He's the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Yes. Above and there's no other. Jesus is the way. Yes. Hallelujah tonight. Hallelujah tonight. We praise you, Jesus. Yes. We worship you, Jesus. Yes. We give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Yes. Lift your hands up right now. Let's begin to call upon Jesus. Let's begin to call upon Jesus. Let's begin to let him have this way. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to his name. Yes. Oh, Jesus, we thank you tonight. Hallelujah. Let him bless you. Let him bless oh, you tonight. Oh, thank you, Lord. Let him touch you. Hallelujah.